Sports bettors, happy, what are we on? Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen, and it is doomsday for the Birds fans. Uh, wow. I mean, I have nothing else to say after this game. I really don't. Uh, I've been in shambles with this team lately. Uh, I'm, I'm taking the evening off. I really am. I was going to go in the office, set everything up, and record for you guys. But I tell you what, man, it's just been a wild roller coaster. I've used so much money on this Eagles team going to see their games, cheer for them, gear. And, and, and here's my only problem I have with the Eagles season is they did not give a fuck in that game. Bradbury, Maddox, these, these cornerbacks just scared to hit, period. I mean, we have Baker Mayfield running around and, and they're just pretending to be blocked. That disgusts me. That disgusts me. Shed the fucking blockers and make some hits. Um, the, the, the lack of effort that I seen today from the Eagles secondary was un, somehow worse than it, than it was all year, which is, which is crazy because it was terrible all year long. But anyways, congratulations to the Bucks. You always give credit where it's due, right? Um, win, lose, or draw, even on betting, right? Uh, we have to give credit where it's due because our term's coming. And it's tonight in the NHL. Uh, I have a red alert play for you guys today. I get it. We, we were on a massive uh, top tier win streak. And then about a week and a half, it kind of was very inconsistent. One thing I do in this betting world, I stay true to my numbers. I keep and manage a bankroll. And we hammer down on a fucking Tuesday, baby. Sorry for my language today. But I was unbelievably floored this entire day. I just hope the Lakers could close out for us. That's our NBA play. Um, my top play of the day was on the Eagles. And Jack won his big game. Listen, Jack won his big game. Uh, Jack just cashed another red alert for the company. Uh, he had the Bills minus six first half. And uh, Team Jack's been on freaking fire. On fire. The, the, the big plays have been on fire. Uh, but Tuesday night, nine and one run this game. This, this, this uh, play in particular has been on. It's in the NHL. It's in the evening. It's found pinned in the comment section. It's $49.99. Let's get back to the basics. We hammer down on these big games. It's my only game of the day. Uh, YouTube Premium will be rocking and rolling there. Also, if you're not on, on the live stream, uh, we had a live stream there. We had a couple people uh, enter in for the new contest. Uh, we talked about some of the betting angles. Stephen Harrison liked the Lakers tonight. I don't know if the Lakers are going to win. They were only at five. Uh, a couple other people were putting their best bets in the comment section, and that's what it's about. The betting community staying true. I look like a disaster in this video, but I'm telling you guys right now, uh, I would I would have loved to go in the office and break it down for you all today. But uh, it, when your team goes out, and after the way that we've gone out, I'm, I'm drained of energy. I'm drained of energy. I'm drained of, of just the, the thought of how much money I used on this team this year. And for them to do that was just, I feel like I was scammed. I feel like I was robbed. You know, watching Baker Mayfield throw darts. Just think, just, just think if the Bucks caught the balls today. We, we, we should have got 60 slung on us. I mean, sure, the score was 32 to 9. But it very well should have been 32-9 to nine by half. Evans dropped the touchdown. The tight end dropped wide open plays. I mean, we got crushed, period. Uh, but anyways, free play of the day, y'all. We're going Ottawa, money line against Colorado. I'm going to switch up the, the boxes here. Uh, I, have a, I have a red alert play today. I'm going on Ottawa, money line. You guys know my vibes on this stuff. 40 to 50 cent difference in a Colorado and Ottawa game. I have no idea why. I do know some stuff, some issues was going on with some Colorado players, but really 28 and 13. And you mean to tell me I could get Ottawa only plus 115. This is a one unit play for me. Give me Ottawa on the money line. It makes absolutely no sense. And I don't want to be the sucker on the other side, but I will say this nine and one. That's a 90% the last 10 NHL games. This particular play has cashed easily. It goes off later in the evening. Uh, it is a red alert. It's forty nine ninety nine. The only way to get it is pinned in the comment section. I got that play uh, ready to go, by the way. As soon as you click on it, download it, uh, you'll have access to it. It's ready to go. If you're on the NHL season, you already have it. I love you guys. Go Eagles for the death of me, but now let's go Sixers. 
And I want to say this, if your team is still in the playoffs, I hope they win. And uh, let me know what you guys like in the comment section. Who do you think is going to win it all? Is it going to be the Packers? Is it going to be the Niners? The Ravens, the big favorites? Or someone like I think, I really think, is going to be the Buffalo Bills. So let me know in the comment section, y'all. Red Alert is posted, pinned, ready to go. Back to the basics, y'all. Back to the basics. Screw these damn Eagles. But back to the basics. Clean. Nine and one run. Top top play of the day for y'all. Red Alert. Pinned in the comment section. Clean. I love nine and one trends. I'll see y'all there. And uh, it's ready to go now. No matter when you're watching us. Good luck. God bless. Crying down, baby. Mm -hmm.